here are some of these colors um, that the bellbird sings. And if I sing it dum 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 like this, it'll be. And then the bellbird changes his song. We're going to rotate this now, always to the left. And his next song would be. a bit strange but uh, I'm going to put a little bit of blue in with it because the white paint has a sort of uh, uh, it receives the red part of the spectrum very nicely and so it starts to put more and more red into the ultramarine and so I'm trying to counter that it's all new to me, of course. Um, I put the last blue on, the blue that's already on me, this blue. And that's, I put it on just with a turps wash so that it's, it's, it's transparent. It's almost like watercolour, so the, the ground is coming through, which is very beautiful, but doesn't last. Everything that I'm painting now, every subject that I choose, is somehow symbolic because I'm painting at the end of my life. Because everything that I'm looking at now is looked at through a whole lifetime of seeking out imagery for the mood that I'm in. And the mood that I'm in now is I'm ready to die, man. <laughs> and, and so, how do I paint? You know, this is, these are the last messages I'm leaving, sort of thing. And it might sound ridiculous and over-sentimental and all this, but it's true. 